Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Immersive Gaming. My name's Matthias, and today I'm going to show you guys all the steps to get started with feeding yourself. Now, my character has had a very long day in war, okay? He's carrying a lot of weight on him. He's got zero food, zero water, water deficiency, empty stomach, okay? Hand abrasions. But so now he's going to have to try and hunt. So, you will hear animal sounds at some point in the forest. The animal sound is just to give you the direction, and having a high awareness skill helps quite a bit. I've only got medium awareness. But holding your focus mode in will cut out all the ambient sound, and you can't take too long. But the sound is not where the animal is. The sound is in the direction that you will find your first tip, okay, your first clue. So hunting is all about finding the clues, and then when you found all the clues, then the animal will spawn. But the sounds are basically there for tips. So you guys can hear it. We're not looking for an animal. We're looking for a tip. Or a clue. With, with our focus mode held in. At the moment, our heartbeat is affecting the sound a little bit. And if you want to remove the sound of your heartbeat, then you can just put this mode on. It will remove the sound of your heartbeat when you get tired. And you have to hold in your focus mode, guys, because without focus, if you don't hold in the focus mode, you don't see the clue. The only way to see the clue is by holding in your focus mode. So, the first indication is the sound. Once you've figured out what direction the sound is coming from, then you have to hold in your focus mode, because if you don't, you can go over the clue like I probably already have, you can go over the clue and miss it, okay? So just remember, sound is your first indicator. Then you have to hold focus mode all the time in that direction because you can't see the clue without holding in focus mode. And you have to get a lot of clues before the animal spawns. Okay, the animal won't spawn. The animal doesn't exist. The sound of the animal is just the direction where you will find the first clue with focus mode. Once you found the first clue, it will tell you what direction to go in, and you're going to need a compass for that. Okay, so I'm just going to spawn in a compass here now because I don't have one on me at the moment. You can craft the compass as well, okay? So once you find the first clue... It will tell you what direction to go in. And if you go in that direction, you have to hold the focus mode. Because again, it's just going to give you the direction of the next clue. Until the animal spawns. And then only will you be able to kill the animal. Okay? Now, we took a bit too long finding that animal. So, let me find another animal sound. And get back to you guys, okay? Now, I was just trying to explain to you guys why I'm so tired and everything. But, I mean, you guys can keep this in a chest somewhere, okay? 
So all I'm going to do is lighten my load here with all the weight that I've got on me. That's already going to make a major difference. I'll keep the RPK. But I mean, I'm not going to keep the M82. Okay. Uh, I can drop the rockets as well. So let's find the animal sound again. And let's do this right from the start. Okay, guys, if we go and look at the server settings, okay, you can do this in single player. You're going to see that for hunting, hunt failure time. Okay, the max allowed hunts on a server at the moment, the default is 20, but the hunt failure time is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So they can't put the clues too far apart because you have to get the next clue um, within two and a half minutes. And if you go out of a 300 meter radius of that clue, the hunt fails. So we went 300 meters past where the clue was, and it failed. But we've only got two and a half minutes to find the next clue, which means the clue will never be far away, okay? You can literally walk. You don't have to jog. Once you hear the animal, you can walk. I think walking is a better idea, just to make sure you don't miss the clue, because it's very easy to go past the clue, okay? So let's try this again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would compare the hunting to hunting a player, okay? I I definitely, I tried this with no awareness. It's very, 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 very difficult with no awareness because you must find the clue within two and a half minutes. You must have a compass. So either have a compass or you must have like medium or advanced survival, okay? Probably medium survival at least. So medium survival and medium awareness is going to help you a lot with hunting. Because as you can see, you can miss the clue very, very quickly. You can't go 300 meters past the clue, then it disappears. You can't take more than two and a half minutes to find the clue, then it disappears. So I would definitely relate it to hunting, um, uh, to hunting, you know, uh, a player. You have to take your time. You have to take it slow. Um, and then once the sound is so loud, like extremely loud, like it was there at the end, then you know the animals in front of you. So then you can like start, you know, start crouching, start immersing yourself in the experience because now the animal can literally run away from you, okay? Where in the beginning, where the sounds are very far, 
you don't really have to worry about scaring the animal away. In the beginning, you just have to focus on finding those clues until the animal spawns, and then you can kill the animal like this. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because after this, after this video, I want you guys to watch my um, basic cooking tutorial. Instead of showing you guys how to cook with gas stoves and generators and how to you know, do various cooking recipes, which will be very, very entertaining, I rather want to show you guys the basics of how the cooking can improve your survival in the wild without having any cooking books, okay? So click on the next video, okay? Or wait for the next video. Click the like button and the subscribe button to see and learn everything you need to see and learn about scum. And the next video, I will show you the benefits of the new cooking system without a cooking book, okay? And then later on, we can get into the fancy cooking because you have to, you can't carry a gas canister or a gas tank. You can't carry, you know, you can carry a, a generator, but we have to start at the basics to start enjoying the game as it's meant to be enjoyed. So see you guys in the next video and hope you enjoyed this one. Cheers. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the continuation of my previous video where I showed you guys an in-depth hunting tutorial, okay, how it's done and explained it to you guys completely. And now I'm going to show you from that video where we killed the donkey, we've got the donkey meat on us. We've got one corn, which is easy to find in a cornfield, one mushroom, which is easy to find in a field, okay? And then we've, we've got a, like a cutting tool, which might be a stone knife or something like that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut up a bush, which isn't that, you know, which isn't that difficult. I'm just going to cut up one bush. And then I'm going to craft the skewer. Now, basic cooking is not about cookbooks it's not about finding cookbooks it's not about dragging a gas tank to your base or using a prefab building or you know fueling a generator those are in that is in game cooking what i'm going to show you guys today is the basic cooking how this will help you to survive now i am very very hungry because of the area that i'm in i drank water in the stream very very easily but i've got a hunger problem so we did the hunting where we killed the donkey okay in the previous video we killed the donkey and now because we've got the skewer okay we have to make a fire now so um, at the end of the day we're just going to make any fire okay but probably going to go for like this one takes eight rocks and four little logs which is not too difficult. I like a rag strip or, you know, a tinder. And this one takes five sticks. So that one takes eight. Hmm. I like using this one, but let's keep to the basics. Five sticks and a rag, okay? So let's go get us five sticks. And the best way to have five sticks is to use a saw because if you cut up a long stick into small sticks with a saw, it will always give you five sticks, five short sticks, okay? The air is the thing, you know, the year is the little logs that we needed. Um, but I mean, tinder is going to help us, but uh, we can get a rag quite easily. But let's make tinder because tinder is a small stick, okay? Tinder is made from a small stick. So that's all right. You clearly see there, yeah, tinder, one small stick and a cutting tool. Any cutting tool, it can be a, it can be a stone knife as well. Doesn't really matter. Takes quite a while, of course. Okay, so now we're going to build the little fire. You're in the shade, doesn't matter. Somewhere where we feel comfortable. Okay, you're going to build it there. 
and then we need something to light it now if you've got matches on you or something like that you know it will help but we can light the fire and you can see now with the new cooking system there is no heat there isn't a heat indicator okay there's no real heat indicator of course we used our lighter but we could have just made a with with some sticks guys we could have just made a fire uh, that fire drill okay with the sticks that was around us we could have just made a fire drill and crafted a fire drill okay now but because the fire and the skewer in our inventory now we can cook a skewer now the first skewer we're gonna do is a meat skewer because that's gonna give us protein okay in a perfect world, only the green is needed. In a perfect world, we will have salt and black pepper on us. But again, this is wild survival. You are not going to be carrying salt and black pepper on you while you're exploring the island. Okay, that's not a natural thing to carry on you. So we're doing basic survival cooking, which you will do on in the outside world. Okay, so we've got the meat and now we're going to cook it. Okay. So there's the timer. Now we're gonna go here. And you can see we don't need to put the skewer over the fire. There it is, okay? There it is. There is the skewer. It's, we just have to have the skewer in our inventory. We don't have to put the skewer next to the fire, okay? Now what we're gonna do is the meat's gonna give us protein. But we're gonna make a vegetable skewer now, which comes from one corn, Okay, and one mushroom, very easy to find. Because that's going to give us carbs. So now we're going to cook that one. Okay. And there you go. Now you are cooking. And there's an another hunt that we can do. But there we go. Okay. Now we are cooking meat and vegetables. Which is going to give us protein and carbs which is going to help us with our hunger now all we do is we wait okay because there's nice timers now the old way of having to turn your meat around and you know refreshing the database and all of that is over this is your basic survival so all you're going to do now is you're going to wait um the heat is regulated because of the fire okay maybe if you i think if you build the stone fire it's a little bit faster i felt like it was a little bit faster when i made a stone fire okay but in any case you guys can see it's really beautiful nice interactive so we're just going to wait till it goes green we don't want it to go over that bar because then we're going to start burning it okay so or we're going to undercook it so we want it to be we want it to be cooked as well as possible so we're going to stop it just before it hits that that end line as soon as it as this blue becomes green we can stop cooking okay so let's wait and let me show you guys just from one animal kill and because i got one corn and one mushroom out of the forest i can feed myself Okay, so as you guys can see, it's going green now. And all I like to do is to stop the cooking when there's like 10 seconds left. Right there. Okay. Poorly cooked. Just because we didn't add any other ingredients, but it's fine. We're going to grab the meat. We're going to grab this. Okay. And we're just going to put it here for now. Still 100%. You guys can see there 8.3 grams 8.3 grams of protein 37 grams of carbs very low fat and a little bit of water okay and now with the meat and try and stop it at the last second We'll try and take it off at the last on you know, on the last second. Okay, poorly cooked. 
So there's the meat. There's the meat in our hand. Okay. So we can eat this now. So the meat's going to give us 59 grams of protein. No carbs. And then the vegetable skewer is going to give us 37 grams of carbs. Okay. And these two together are very, very, very important. You can see we've got nothing in our stomach at the moment. When we eat the meat, it's going to give us about 219 calories per hour, okay? But we need to eat the vegetables as well to combine it. Because as I've told you guys many, 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 many times, if you don't have carbs in your body, then your body's burning through protein way, way, way too fast, okay? So there we're at an intake of 955. So with only the meat skewer, the intake is too low, okay? We're not regening our energy fast enough because you guys saw it was only 290 calories per hour. But because we combined it with the vegetable skewer, now we're getting that 955 that we need, which is going to fix our energy deficiency and which is going to give us carbs so that we first burn through the carbs before we burn through the protein. And we've only used like 40% of our stomach, okay? So because we've got this in our inventory, we can keep going. If we had like a potato now, you know, if we had a potato and we had... And we just got another mushroom, okay? Random mushroom with a potato. We can do it again because we've got the skewer, okay? So we go with, uh, and you can do the mixed one, but I mean the mixed one is a little bit, you know, a little bit counterproductive. And of course, you're going to get more nutrition if you add everything. But that's not what I want to show you. I don't want to show you if you add everything. I don't want to show you the, the perfect scenario. I just want to show you the meat. And I just want to show you the vegetable. So if you do this twice, guys, you, you, are, you are okay. You are okay. All these are optional. You can add extra vegetables to get more. So we got 36 grams of carbs, okay? So if we go, if we get another potato, get another two potatoes. So the first one only gave us 36, 36 gram of carbs, okay? Because the meat skewer gave us 59. Let's see how much more that increases. Okay, so the last one was 36 grams of carbs. Let's look at this one. Excellently cooked just because of the more resources. Now, oh, there's three pieces, guys, instead of one piece. There's three uses instead of one use. That makes quite a big difference. Now, you can't get three uses from the skewer because it doesn't give you the opportunity to add more meat. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't give you the opportunity to add more meat. But it does with this. So now, we're going to get 35 times 3 is 100. 100, guys. And look at what I look like after the first. Energy deficiency gone. Look at what my my system looks like. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So clearly, you know, this is good because your, your meat stays in your body much longer than the vegetables. But the vegetables is the thing that's giving you that high intake rate of calories. Okay. So that's that's very, very important. Okay, 
I burned that one a little bit, but it's fine. Giving me a bit less protein because I burnt it a little bit. You can see it's burnt a little bit. Uh, let's see if we check taste. Overcooked. Okay, scorched, overcooked. But that's fine. Now, if we eat all... Look at this now. Don't worry about that fat. That's milligrams. We haven't even got one gram of fat yet. We're going to get 100 grams of carbs with this basic cooking, cooking system. Because the meat stays in our body for a very, very long time. Okay? And we're going to push our stomach to the max here. Like, I could stop it here, but I'm going to... I'm going to see how far I can push it without blowing up my stomach. There we go. Okay, we didn't blow up our stomach. And we got 105 grams of carbs into our body. And now we can make ourselves a bed. Okay, rest on the bed or we can just, we can just relax, guys. We can just relax. Okay, let that go through our body. Look at that intake rate, 91 grams. Look at that, 644. Okay, we've still got the we've still got this that we can eat. Just make sure that you don't burn it. And that means our food is fixed. Okay, this is very, very little fat. That's like one gram of fat over there. One gram of fat. Okay. The meat skewer has a little bit more fat in it. But, I mean, we can add salt to it and stuff like that to increase it. So, let's see what that does, okay? Just to end the video here. We add salt and we add black pepper, okay? Just for, inter just for interest sake. We're not going to eat it. We're just going to see if that makes a difference. That's all we're going to do. We've got the skewer in our inventory. Now, we're going to cook. Okay, we're going to go with the meat skewer. We put the meat in. We're going to put the salt in. We put the black pepper in. And now we're going to cook it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Um... I just made another fire to see if this fire would have a better effect. But it does look like this fire has a better effect. But let's see now. If we stop it. Under 10 seconds. Okay, so that's perfectly cooked. Because we put all the ingredients inside. And now, because we put all the ingredients inside it. It's still one. But... It's going to give, it's basically the same protein and the same fat, guys. Not a big difference, okay? So, looks like you're going to have to make multiple of these, which you can do because this fire allows you to make two. So, you can make two meat skewers. But for the vegetables, I only make one. I mean, the vegetables, look, look, look what we look like now. That was the one skewer. We didn't eat this skewer. We didn't eat the burnt skewer. The one skewer... Of meat and then that great one of carbs. Look how perfect that looks. That looks absolute marvelous, guys. So that is the basic cooking. The only the only reason I'm gonna make a video of the advanced cooking is to give you guys the basic idea of how gas and electricity works with the cooking. But again, I'm not just gonna show you how to cook because that is quite basic. I'm going to show you advanced tips on how to cook and what foods you can focus on to replace milk for vitamin D, okay? And to sort out all your vitamins and minerals, like what is the perfect diet to have all your vitamins and minerals, you know, perfect, and these at a very good balance overall. So I'll figure out the perfect diet for you guys, vitamin, mineral-wise, and diet-wise, okay? So if you enjoy the video, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about SCUM, then hit the subscribe button. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.